I'm Chris, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at how to auto gain any plugin or set of plugins using a free plugin by Melder called MAGC or Magic. Now, I'm going to be using the brand new Reaper 7 features called FX containers to do this elegantly, but you can take the basic principle and apply it to any door you like. So let's say I'm working on a drum track and I want to apply some compression. I load up Rear Comp because I know you have it if you have Reaper, and dial in the threshold until I'm seeing gain reduction on the meter. However, if I disable the plugin to compare before or after, it's obviously a lot louder uncompressed, making it hard to tell if the compression is improving the track or not. Now, of course, we could either manually compensate on rear comp, or use a plugin with built-in auto gain, like rear comp. But manually compensating is time consuming and not that many plugins have auto gain. Finding a compressor with auto gain is even harder because that's not an easy feature to code so it works reliably on a compressor. So the first thing we'll do is set up the basic structure for Melder Magic. Firstly, I add a container at the end of the current FX chain by right clicking and then add container. I press F2, which then enables me to rename it to a more friendly name. Next, under that new container I've just made, I'll add a second new container by pressing add and then selecting container near the top. Again, I'll rename that to a more friendly name. I'll then window float the inner container for easy access and drag the rear comp instance into it to copy it there. I can then remove it from the top level. Finally, within the top level container, I click add once more but this time I add the Melder Magic plugin. The way this plugin works is using a sidechain input to receive a copy of the original signal before any plugins alter it, so I can match the loudness output to that. To configure this, I can take advantage of the container channel setup and pin configuration. I open that up, and you can set up how many track channels there are, and how many container channels and inputs and outputs there are. I increase the number of container channels to four, and the number of inputs to four. And at the top, I copy the channel one and two inputs onto those channels three and four. The last thing to set up is magic. I go into the pin setup for that. We don't need the channel three and four output, so I turn those off. For the inputs, I disable container channel three and four, and instead map those inputs to side chain one and side chain two. So now that's set up. I can play around with the settings on rear comp as much as I like, and the output will be gain compensated. If I want to AB with the original signal, the easiest way is the side chain listen button on Magic. The great thing is we don't have to do this setup every time because we have isolated it to a container. There are a couple of ways to save and reload this setup, but firstly I'll remove rear comp so it can be a generic auto gain container preset. The first way is via an FX chain. Simply hit right click, choose FX chains, then save selected effects as chain. I choose a name and then that's then saved for me. So if I delete it, then right click FX chain, load FX chain, then select the chain it will load up for me just the way it was, ready to add effects to the effects to auto gain container. The second way is via container presets. If I click the plus button on the top level container, followed by save preset, I can then save to a preset name of my choice. I'll again delete the container, then right click and add an empty one. From there, I can just load the preset and my auto gain container is just as it was. Both of these two methods have their advantages which one is better probably depends on context. Well, that's about it for auto gain using Magic and Reaper 7. I hope you're enjoying the FX container features. They're very powerful, and I haven't even covered parallel processing yet, which makes even more things possible. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.